Hey, what's up? Uh, what's up, YouTube? Yeah, so my thoughts on a Trump presidency. Um, I was going to say it doesn't matter. That would be technically incorrect. It does matter. It matters because the country has chosen a bigot and a sexist and someone who's rude and someone who's a bully and someone who's also unqualified. I guess there is a lot of things I could say about um, Mr. Trump. But these, these things that I say um, is not coming from a place of hatred. Um, it's, it's coming from a place of um, analyzing, just analyzing the person's behavior, you know. Um, they they chose this person over someone who's qualified to do the job. Now, uh, I am not a Hillary supporter. I don't love Hillary. I, I don't think she's a fantastic candidate. I, like you, um, didn't like this election. I felt uncomfortable. This election felt like a stomach ache. It felt like a, a stomach, like a year and a half long stomach ache. This was horrible. This was horrible. And America is now divided. We have people rioting. When they're not rioting, I'm sorry. I guess uh, the media uses the word rioting so much that I'm just used to saying rioting. It's the first thing that pops into my head. And uh, by the way, we are all a little bit programmed by the media. You think you're not, but you only know what the media tells you. Or I only know what the media tells me, right? Uh, you have to do your independent research if you want to find something outside of the media. Okay, so let me get to the point. First of all, no matter who is in charge, who the president is, there are people that pulls the string, um, or the strings, regardless of who the president is. If you look at the agenda of the country and uh, the things that the country does, the country pretty much does the same thing no matter who is in charge. And this was seen when Mr. Obama was in office. It was seen when Mr. Bush was in office. And when Mr. Trump is in office, it's going to be business as usual. It's going to be the same thing. And I think a lot of his supporters are going to be surprised when their lives do not improve. Um, when they're still living paycheck to paycheck and this great utopia that they thought they were going to get what they were promised, it doesn't come. When the jobs that were shipped over overseas don't come back, uh, especially we're talking about in manufacturing jobs and, you know, other, other jobs, when, uh, when we roll back some of NAFTA and... The economy is in bad shape. I think the economy is going to be in worse shape under Mr. Trump uh, because his policies simply don't work. Those policies do not work. Um, the world is now uh, globalized. Uh, technology is eating a lot of jobs, especially low-skill jobs, and it's creeping into the high-skill area. Uh, the future as we know it is going to be very different. Um, the idea of go to school, work hard, get good grades, come out and get a good job, and have a pension or 401k that will take care of you so you could re allow you to retire by age 65 and live happily ever after, you know, uh, the life with the white, white picket fence, the two kids, the family, uh, middle class lifestyle, two cars, that, um... Look, the last, in the last 15 years, house prices more than doubled. That alone is a red flag. Home prices more than doubled. That's, that's just the home prices, okay? You look at your medical costs, if you look at the last 10 years, you look at the trend, you look at the graph, the graph is like this, okay? That doesn't matter who is in office. I will say this. The president sets the tone for the country. So whoever is in office is important because 
Um, the amount of wars that we get into depends on the president. Um, and the how we treat each other depends on who is in office. Uh, so it does matter. Uh, but when we're talking about the fundamental uh, value of your life, your lifestyle, are you enjoying your life? Are you able to feed your family? Are you comfortable? Um, do you feel like you're getting ahead? Do you feel like you're getting... Is, is this year better than last year? Those kind of things. Um, that really has to do... That's cyclical. That has to do with the economy. And it, the president affects the economy, but not directly. The, the president sets the tone of the organization. But when we're talking about the policies of this country, that, that is controlled by a different set of people. And those are the people that have you watching Kim Kardashian's booty and have you tuned into all the gay stuff that's going on in uh, your sitcoms and your, your series. You know, you could be watching Walking Dead. I'm surprised Walking Dead doesn't have a, a gay scene in there with two, two naked guys yet. You know, I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen the last few episodes, but I was watching Power, and I saw that in Power, and I was like, really? Yeah. Hmm. And it's in the cartoons also. If There's a lot of things going on right now that... Um, are used to divide people and it's used to keep people focused on things that are not really that important. Um, you know, we're focused on our divisions. You know, uh, some people, some, some people might see this video and you're like, I don't like that guy cause he, you know, he has brown skin, but you're not going to say he, he's black. I don't like him cause he's black. And, uh, other people, uh, will say, I don't like those guys cause you know, that guy's white. I don't like him. And the irony of the whole thing is that I'm not black and you're not white. And we still have these ideas that um, have been used to divide the people for years. If, if you look, if it's not that, right? I don't like that guy because he's Jewish. I don't like that person because that person's a Muslim. I don't like that person because he's a man. I don't like that person because she's a woman and she shouldn't be doing this and that. All these things, you know, we're focused on is just, uh, it's ridiculous. You look, look how the country is, is turned. This used to be like a conservative country, right? Everyone was conservative. You, you have to wear long skirts, you know, you can't curse on TV. I was around, I was watching TV, but you couldn't curse on TV. You couldn't curse. Now, you know, your show is not popular unless you have a bunch of sex and violence. And you, like, you actually need that because... The shock value is gone because everything has that in it. Um, all right, so it seems like I'm just rambling. I'm all over the place, right? But let me get back to the main point. The main point is this. The, it does matter who the president is. The president sets the tone of the, the uh, nation, just like a CEO sets the tone of the corporation, right? If you have a bad CEO or a misbehaving CB, CEO, the employees are going to misbehave, right? Okay, okay, we got that. But... The most important thing that you have to remember is you control your destiny. You control your life. You are responsible for putting food in your tummy. You are responsible for exercising and remaining healthy. You are responsible for maintaining a positive mental, emotional, and spiritual attitude. Regardless of who the president is. That's your responsibility. The president's not going to knock on your door and like, hey, how are you doing? You know, I, I hear you're doing bad and stuff, so uh, you don't have to pay your bills for the next two months. Hey, hey, you know what? Your rent, you don't have to pay it for the next year. No matter who gets in office, that's not going to happen, guy or young lady or, you know, it's just not going to happen. So, again, take care of your loved ones. Take care of your families. Um... I think we're in for a roller coaster ride. I think stuff's going to hit the fan. I, I think that uh, the person in office now is not able to handle the job, and I because he doesn't have the temperament for it, and he doesn't have the training, and I think he's a hothead. And I also think that once people have money, they think they're smarter than they really are, you know. And um, I don't hate the people that voted for this man. I think a lot of them are misguided. And uh, I think that, you know, they're being used as most of the American people are. You know, American, the American people have just been 
Um, they've, they've been farmed for a long time. And I think that they're upset with the way the system has treated them. They, they feel disenfranchised and they feel like they're not getting ahead. Um, what they're, they're feeling pretty much like uh, a lot of African Americans have felt for a long time in this country. I know this is some funny stuff that I'm saying at the end, but there is there is some some truth in it. Um, but if you really look at things, you, you could zoom out. Things are really not as bad as they seem. You know, you, you like I said, you take care of your family. You guys love each other. There's, there's shelter and there's food. That's the most important thing. You know, I'll tell you, once you have something happen to your health, you'll realize how uh, unimportant everything else is. If you're still able to run, play, hug your, your kids, hug your, your brother, your sister, your mom, dad, you do that. Um, you take care of the people around you. You know, you keep that, that bond tight and stop worrying about what the, the next person is doing because life is short, man. Life is really short and uh, you need to focus on what's important. All right, love, peace, happiness, do what you love doing, not what someone wants you to do because that person is not living your life and they're not going to be with you when you're going through your misery. All right, take care of the people that take care of you and be good to each other. Peace.